every season, Premier League clubs spend huge money to import Bundesliga talent into the league. This summer alone, the likes of Nkunku, Soboslai and Diaby have come with huge reputations and huge frees from the Bundesliga to the Premier League. And whilst there's been some huge success stories such as Michael Ballack, Kevin De Bruyne and Haaland, there is also a long list of Bundesliga stars who failed to replicate their form in the Premier League. So in this video, we will take a look at 8 Bundesliga stars who flopped in the Premier League. Before we get started, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Number 1. Timo Werner In his first spell in the Bundesliga, Werner was seen as the next big thing when it came to German strikers. For years, Germany were longing for a striker who could bag goals for fun after the retirement of players such as Miroslav Klose and Mario Gomez, and Werner was seen as the answer. He reached 100 Bundesliga appearances aged just 20 years and 203 days, which made him the youngest player to achieve this feat until another player on this list broke it. He was prolific during his time at Leipzig and scored 34 goals in all competitions in the 19-20 season, and this earned him a £50 million move to Chelsea who beat the likes of Liverpool to his signature. In hindsight, maybe he would have worked out better in Klopp's system, as it definitely didn't work out for him at Chelsea. In two seasons, he only managed 10 league goals combined, though he did win the Champions League. It was clear to see that Werner didn't have the intelligence to play as a striker and didn't have the flair to play on the wings, so he was let go by Chelsea and re-signed by Leipzig last summer for £25 million. And he's had a decent return to the Bundesliga, scoring 16 goals in all competitions and should do even better next season, but he definitely flopped in the Premier League. Number 2. Marco Marin Whilst at Gladbach and Bremen, Marco Marin was labelled as the German Messi and this in itself tells you how highly rated he was in the Bundesliga. He wasn't particularly a huge goal scorer, but he was a very creative player, racking up double-digit assists in the league several times during his teens and early 20s. At that time, him and Ozil were the two biggest talents in the Bundesliga and whilst Ozil went to Real Madrid in 2010, Marin was signed by Chelsea in 2012. He impressed in pre-season but in the league campaign only managed 6 appearances. Well, those would turn out to be his only 6 Premier League appearances as he was loaned out several times. These loan spells came at Sevilla, Fiorentina, Anderlecht and Trabzonspor. He failed to really impress at any of those loan spells, struggling with injuries and then signed for Olympiacos permanently in 2016. Perhaps it's unfair to say a player with only 6 Premier League appearances was a flop, but there's also a reason why Chelsea decided after 6 appearances alone that he would never cut it in the Premier League. Number 3. Sebastian Haller West Ham splashed out £45 million on Sebastian Haller back in 2019, as the striker starred for Eintracht Frankfurt during the 2018-2019 Bundesliga, alongside Rebic and Jovic. That season, Haller managed 24 goal involvements, which was a figure only surpassed by Robin Lewandowski's 29. However, at West Ham, Haller managed just 10 league goals in 18 months at the club and was quickly sold to Ajax. In all competitions, Haller had 7 goals in 19 games in his last 6 months at West Ham, which showed clear improvement from the previous year but he clearly didn't want to stay around any longer. And at Ajax, he lit up the place, albeit in a considerably weaker league and scored 47 goals in just 67 games. He then joined Dortmund last summer but just a month later he was diagnosed with cancer. Thankfully, he's made a full recovery since then and returned to the team scoring 9 goals in 19 league games. So Haller has pretty much succeeded everywhere he's gone apart from the Premier League. Number 4. Naby Keita In 2017, Liverpool triggered Naby Keita's £48 million release clause at RB Leipzig, though he joined the club a year later. Six years later, he's left the club on a free and signed for mid-table Bundesliga side Werder Bremen. And whilst his time at Liverpool saw him win everything in club football, he had a little part to play as he spent most of his time there injured. Across five years at the club, he made 84 league appearances, which is an average of under 17 a season. As a result of his poor injury record, he was only a fringe squad player, though he was signed to be a superstar for the team. A move back to the Bundesliga was seen as a way for him to revive his career, but he suffered yet another injury during a warm-up in pre-season, which will rule him out of action for several weeks. Number 5. Christian Pulisic a yet another injury-prone former Bundesliga star is Christian Pulisic who's just left the Premier League to join Italian giants AC Milan. Back in January 2019, he was signed for £58 million, making him the most expensive American player of all time, and he spoke of his desire to replicate his idol Eden Hazard at Chelsea. And he certainly did replicate Hazard, except it was the Hazard at Real Madrid who spent most of his time in the medical room. But in all seriousness, 
Pulisic is a very talented player and definitely showed glimpses especially in his first season at the club where he had 21 goal involvements in 34 games. But that's the best it got for the American at Chelsea as he's picked up several injuries since. In fact, he picked up over 10 injuries during his 4 year stay in London and whilst most of the injuries were relatively minor, they prevented him from ever gaining real rhythm and form at Chelsea which ultimately led to a sell this summer. If he's past his injury issues, AC Milan could have a real star on their hands but clearly Pulisic's body was not built for the Premier League. Number 6. Kagawa Back in 2012, Kagawa was one of the biggest stars in the Bundesliga as he won back-to-back -back titles with Dortmund and got 25 goal involvements in only 31 league games in his last season at the club. This led Manchester United to spend £12 million on him but he failed to get anywhere near his Bundesliga form in the Premier League. He struggled to adapt to the physicality of the Premier League and in two years only managed six goals in the league. The adjustment in England was not always easy, there were sometimes doubts. A new language, system, coach, environment. Ferguson left after my first year and I really didn't see that coming, Kagawa told De Morgan in Germany. And the signing of Juan Mata in January 2014 also didn't help Kagawa's chances at United and he returned to Dortmund the following summer. It's difficult to say that Kagawa's time at United was a total failure as he did win the Premier League but on a personal level he clearly didn't succeed. Number 7. Kai Havertz Now for a couple active Premier League players who came over from the Bundesliga. Whilst at Leverkusen, Havertz was one of the best talents Germany had seen since the likes of Cruz and Ozil. He made his debut for the club aged just 17, so young that he had to miss a Champions League game against Atletico Madrid due to school exams. He scored 20 goals in all competitions in the 18-19 season and followed that up with 18 the season after which led Chelsea to spend £71 million on him. And he's in the club's history forever as he scored the Champions League final winner versus City back in 2021 but despite that he's been disappointing overall whilst in England. He did three full seasons at Chelsea and despite being a regular starter, failed to hit double figure goals in the league in any of those three years. This summer seemingly out of nowhere Arsenal signed him for £65 million and many fans are certain he will fail at the club. The biggest issue with Havertz is no one knows his best position as he's played all over the midfield and attack yet didn't excel in any position. But he is still only 24 years old so there's time to turn it around especially under a new manager. Number 8. Jadon Sancho There seems to be a consistent theme in this video of Dortmund players coming over to England and failing to live up to the hype they had in Germany and Sancho falls right in this category. He left Man City's academy aged just 17 searching for first team football and certainly got that at Dortmund. He quickly became one of the biggest rising prospects in football behind perhaps only Mbappe and Haaland. He registered 20 assists in each of his last three seasons at Dortmund as well as hit double digit goals. All of which led Manchester United to spend 75 million on him two summers ago. Strangely though Ole Gunnar Solskjaer barely played him and once Ragnik came in, Sancho showed glimpses but was still nowhere near his Dortmund form. Last season again he showed glimpses under Ten Hag but then he missed a large portion of the season with mental health issues. He's already played on the left wing, right wing, in the number 10 position and is now being used up front during pre-season. This season he needs to perform as he's running out of time and positions to prove himself in the Premier League. And that was it for the 8 Bundesliga stars who flopped in the Premier League. Comment down below any players who you think deserve to be on this list and as always please like, comment and subscribe.